Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Today's tutorial is a viewer request. How do I get the big black outline on my thumbnail text? Today's tutorial will share exactly how I do that, but you will need Canva Pro in order to create this effect. Let's get started. First, we need the right size. Type in YouTube thumbnail. 1280 by 720 pixel is the size. And I'm just going to share with you how to create the text effect. I'm just going to create a blank YouTube thumbnail. In order to get a text, you can click T on your keyboard and it will pull up a text box. If that's not working for you, click text and add a heading. Text. I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to duplicate it and effect. And the next thing I do, and by the way, this is Anton font. This will work for most any fonts, but for my thumbnail, I use Anton. I also click it and italicize it. That way it kind of looks like it's moving. I line it up exactly how I want it to look. Download. This is why you need Canva Pro. You're going to download this as a PNG with a transparent background. I'm using Google Chrome and because of that, I get this cool little thing that pops up right here. I can left click it and drag it onto my project. Just like that, I'm going to right click it and bring it to the front. If you click it and don't hold it, it's going to pop up instead of bringing it to your project. Just exit out, try it again, or you can go to the uploads tab, click upload media and pull it from wherever it came from. I'm leaving this this size for now, but for this, what I'm going to do is click it and you can tell the difference when I click this, there is a text panel that pops up. And when I click this, it says edit image. Click edit image. And I've got in there in my recently used shadows. But if you don't have that, then type in shadow. And we're going to use the glow effect. When you click on it, a control panel pops up and we're going to see control. And I do these numbers exactly. I go at 15, I go at 100, and I go at zero. I keep it black. So here we are, apply. You will see that it got rid of all that excess stuff, which is great. What I'm going to do so that we can see it is I'm going to change my background and then I'm going to change my font to white and I'm going to change this font to white and to give it kind of a lift effect. I'm going to do both of them the same way and send that to the back. It kind of makes it stand up. I put this right on top and stretch it out and send it to the back and then I work on my top text. So I know that this is not small enough. I just shrink it a little bit and see how that looks and try to kind of adjust it. Sometimes I use the Arizona keyboard. I think that looks pretty good and I click on this. I click copy style and click that. I use the arrows on my keyboard to adjust the text and it looks great. At this point, I group everything together and I can slide this right on top of my thumbnail. These are new templates. If I slap this down here, look at how nice that looks. I can even give it a twist. Thanks for learning with the Canva Classroom today. 
Please tell me what you are struggling with in Canvas so I can guide you. If you like this text effect tutorial, you will enjoy this recommended lesson on the screen, so go check that out right now. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!